folk. We were talking about sort of such stuff you like doing outside of gymnastics. One yeah. of those things was makeup. Mm -hmm. And I think you were doing a course, is that right? Were you doing a course in makeup? I don't think I was doing a course. I think I was looking you to do looking. a course maybe. Mm -hmm. Because of gymnastics is so like mm -hmm. yeah, like important to me. Yeah. I haven't really got to that yet. Okay, and so. also because the Olympics come okay. up, I focus on that moment. Okay perhaps focus on that for the time <laughs> being that's probably enough however as we talked about before it's still important for you to have the interest outside of gymnastics otherwise yeah, you go crazy yeah. so what, what sort of things have you been doing in the, in the past um, year outside of gymnastics i think i've definitely been like going out to see friends and spending time with family um, but also because I've been doing so much training, I'm so tired and just want to chill. But also, I have been doing some makeup at home, like teaching myself. Talk me through the period of time up till the Olympics. So, you've got the World Championships coming up, obviously, next. Yep. Then you've got some World Cups. Mm -hmm. um, but how much time off do you have between now and Tokyo? Um, I wouldn't say a lot. Like, I've got a holiday after Worlds for a week okay. but I think that will be the only time I can have like fully off before Tokyo and then after Tokyo like that's when I can have time off again. Do Strictly? Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you I could, would. Like, would you? Yeah. If you could do Strictly or I'm a celeb, which one would you do? I think it has to be I'm a celeb. Would it? Would you eat all the bugs and stuff? The thing is I don't think I could do that but... Mm. It would have to be that one because it would be like a good experience as well, like out in Australia. But strictly, I think it would be good as well. Yeah. So it's, a bit, it's a hard one. Yeah. Hard one. <laughs> Maybe we'll wait, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, but one other thing I was thinking, sort of on the wellbeing side, is when you're trying to do gymnastics, you're trying to be all perfect all the time. Yeah. Obviously it's not possible, but that's the idea. Yeah. So do you, does that transfer then into your real life you know do you do you find it difficult do you try and be perfect into sort of life outside of gymnastics or are you quite good at sort of uh, leaving it in the gym i think i do do leave it in the gym but also sometimes i do want stuff to be perfect outside of gym as well i think it's just because i've been doing gym for so long and i just want everything to be perfect like it's literally in my head so when i'm outside of gym i do want things to be perfect but not all the time not like gymnastics not yeah. like inside yeah Today you were struggling um, on being yeah. just a little bit, but the amazing thing is you just keep going. You have to. Yeah. You just keep going. So you know, how does that feel? Um, I think because it's like a connection, a new connection, and like it's been going well. So when some days it doesn't, it's really frustrating. Like you keep trying and trying, and it just doesn't go right. But that's when I think the determination comes in because like you want to get it done. Like today, I, my beam wasn't actually that bad. Like I did seven out of seven beam routines to stay on, but it was just that one connection that I couldn't do. Which, that frustrates me because like seven out of seven beam routines to stay on is pretty good, I think. But um, obviously not getting that connection is, is annoying and frustrating, but I think that's where the termination comes in. Like, yeah. Is it that, happens really. It's it's, part of the sport. You guys have to be so good at your sport, so young. Yeah. Um, the guys really are that bit older, a bit yeah. more mature, but you, you know, you're, you're growing women, you, mm -hmm. you've got emotions flying everywhere, and, and you know, I remember my coach was always like, you know, laughing because someone was in a mood somewhere yeah. or something like that, but I think I have got some photos of your coaches, you know, supporting you, but you've got also the national coach, and you've got your own coach, yeah. and all these different coach, like three coaches watching you, yeah. that's quite full on. Yeah, I think... Because um, we mainly get coached by our own coaches, but then sometimes we get coached by national coaches. I think it's good for both of them to like put in their opinions of what to help that helps me and stuff. And I think that really helps as well. So I think it's good. Hopefully they come up with the same <laughs> coaching. Otherwise, it's be like, what do I do? <laughs> but, oh God, which one? <laughs> but it's nice to have your personal coach, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Here as well. But at the end of the Olympics or the world, you say, of all these people around me that's the type of thing we're talking yeah. about yeah um i think with my coach he does help a lot especially when i'm struggling he like helps me he picks me up when i'm like down and he motivates me um he, yeah he did help today like he did really help but i just thought because my beam was going so well and my connections before were going really well but today because they weren't going right it was just so frustrating but i was trying to hold it in but i was like <laughs> i couldn't it was 
defeat me. <laughs> Frustrate defeat me. I can see. I just want to go, you're doing really well. <laughs> so uh, I, I think everyone loves Simone Biles. I don't think yeah. there's really any question about how amazing that woman is. I love Simone because she's funny. Uh, she supports all her teammates. Like when I'm there, like watching. She, you can see how supportive she is, like outside of gymnastics especially as well. But she also has been through quite a lot and it just shows like she wants she wants what she wants and she wants to reach her goals and that's just amazing. Did you go on that trip in the summer to Tokyo? Yes. How did you like it? I really loved it. It's such a beautiful country, like the people out there are amazing and the training was good, yeah. I enjoyed the training. Um, but the, my favourite part was seeing like the different bits from Tokyo, like outside of the gym, like going sightseeing, it was, it was amazing. The weather wasn't great, I wish it was hot. Yeah, it was raining mainly all the time. That's actually another thing. I spoke to Elise Christie, the short track speed skater. Mm -hmm. She spends her whole life, like like you do, indoors. Um, and obviously it was beautiful summer and things yeah. like that. She says sometimes she gets in in the dark mm -hmm. and then she trains all day and she leaves in the dark as well. Yeah. And obviously we're coming into that sort of cycle. But she has to have extra vitamin D tablets and things like that. Do you do any training like outs not obviously gymnastics but any cardio or anything outside? I'd say it's I'm mainly it's mainly inside. Like I don't really do anything outside of gym. Well I'm like out outside. All my cardio training is inside so when we were in Tokyo I was like I was hoping it was like sunny but it wasn't. Oh. Like the one time I wanted sunny it was all <laughs> Can we just look at your arms again? Because last time they look better than when. Do you remember when I interviewed you last yeah, time? And you had massive. I did life. not long ago. I did have them again. Yeah. But they've healed. I've just got this one here now. Um, and finally, how do you feel coming up to the worlds? Um, I feel a lot more confident this time. Like last worlds, um, I was confident, but I wasn't confident like in myself going. Like there was a lot of good gymnasts, but obviously doing so well at Europeans, like qualifying. <laughs> <laughs> qualifying in third and getting that golden beam it's definitely boosted up my confidence especially going into worlds it was brilliant watching you get that <laughs> i loved it it was amazing well done thank you <laughs>